Hello, it is I, Lucas Afal, your favorite player turned commentator, Ch Kai Slayer turned chip victim. I am here with the loudest in the NC crowd, the only Steve Gumster Gummy. How are we doing today, bro? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I I'm, I'm, I'm happy sure. about being here. Hey, man. It's going to be some good-ass guilty gear. Already know I, the I vibe. agree, right? Uh, listen, I have no biases tonight. I told myself I might hard root for new head. But then I thought, I looked deep in my soul, and I'm like, that, that feels wrong. So I'm just going to be equal, right? I think all these players are amazing. And I'm, I'm, I don't think there's a single one I dislike watching. So, um, yeah. yeah, we hear the, the Aegis team leaked the first season, by the way, right? And for first some, official season. this might be their second time playing in this. But if you don't yeah, know already, you will now. The format. Yeah. Let's talk about it, Luke. Play it to me. All right, so... Format, you got three sets per series. Because we're in playoffs, we have two two different series running. You have your first two sets are first are the tournament standard. Best of five, first of three. Your last set is best of seven, first of four. You run that twice. If a team if the teams go one to one in series count, then they go to series three, where it's played off in a style similar to a crew battle. The teams here, because we're in semifinals of the playoffs, guaranteed thirty dollars minimum. But they're fighting for that chance at one twenty or even that two twenty dollar pot to split amongst the four. That's a big pot. If it were me, I wouldn't lose personally. And see, uh, new head, step it up. I'm saying, yeah but, let, yeah, but let's talk about some of these rosters, right? If you haven't already and you don't know who's in the new head team, then let's go ahead and tell you. So we got, so we got. Adam, a boy, Potemkin, pot monster, one of the strongest to ever do it on this character, at least on Strive. Recent win was a TNS, big victory for the for the guy. Very proud. And we got Akano. Akano is just the goat, right? One of, it's one of those players where you're just like, it's always impressive to watch, watch him play, right? Going ten and two so far in this this team league, actually barely losing any of their matches. Very impressive. We got MJ. You might you might know MJ as the content streamer, the Hello Fresh enjoyer, or the or the Johnny like specialist. But regardless, you know MJ and you love him. Can't wait to watch him play. And then we got Kermit, one of one of the more one of the more tame bikers. So I'm gonna call him tame, as in you know they're fun to watch, right? They're fun to play. But it's still biking. I can't give Kermit enough credit. They're amazing. Luke, we got, who we got on NC? NC? Oh, you already know, bro. You got you got Cherio, Gold Lewis Dickinson, the strongest soldier, battling it out patch by patch and making it to this version where he's the strongest. <laughs> we got Larry, one of the better fouls in America. Definitely a strong contender. A big big fan of fighting biking. You know, I know that one for sure. Oh, yeah. We got a uh, we got Solomon. A uh, solid Ram player from over in NC. I don't believe he's playing today, though, actually, on this lineup. But actually, I don't think either of the Ram players are playing today, which is interesting. And then we got Jeek, one of the Milia goats, what? up and coming, been grinding. Been uh, 13th at TNS this week, I believe. So he's definitely, definitely on that grind set. Yeah, 13 at TNS is pretty impressive, no matter what, whether it's offline or online, let him know with Milia. So that's another thing. This is, I haven't actually seen. Melia's new move being used in action. I've seen some Twitter clips, but those are Twitter clips, you know? So I'm very excited to see how Jeek uses that as well. Yeah, I'm curious, too, if Jeek decides to use it as more of a, more of a throw bait, as it was demonstrated in the, the one preview video, or if he mostly just goes for it in combo routes for the better mix-ups after. This will be uh, interesting for sure. I believe that's our first set, actually. Jeek versus Kermit. Is it? Jeek versus Kermit. Biken? Oh, lord. <laughs> Biken <laughs> Melia. This, yeah, so this, this is an interesting one, right? Because like, obviously, Melia, the uh, great ground neutral, some of the best in the game, but they also have some of the best air neutral in the game, right? And Biken tends to struggle on the ground neutral, right? But the air that she can cover a lot of space with some of these, like, sure. you know, with some yeah. of these buttons, like you know, JS, you have your Johnson, JD, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm curious about how both players are going to play this out. Regardless, I'm gonna have fun watching this. Um, me too. I believe uh, I believe we're getting ready to start now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I see player one ready, locked, and loaded. I wonder what song they're picking. 
You know, I just hope it's not birthday trainer, Bridget the Birthday trainer? What my <laughs> birthday trainer joiners at? Like, what? Uh, man, we do not need to summon Luca Red. I am not in here. We do not need summon. birthday train enjoyers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but all right, we got. Oh, oh, that's danger on the ranger. Oh my god, I didn't put the yeah. two together. Okay, well, here we got game one, uh, semifinals of the of the Aegis team league. Jeek versus Kermit. In his way. Let's run it. We're gonna start off playing pretty slow, backing off immediately, but Kermit gets the early counter hit and the burst, starting us off really fast. G getting in after that burst interaction, making the most of the pressure, whiffing the Artemis though, unfortunate. Oh, no. Kamari coming in, safe jump. Oh, this is, this is the domain expansion, right? You never want to be here exactly. And there's that JH! Oh, jumps a combo up against the TKO zone. This should be enough to kill G. Yeah, yeah. What's up, ground one? Definitely Very convincing. Kermit, all right, Kermit, I see you. Let's keep it going. Oh, nice blocks on this, but gets hit by the JS, unfortunately. Big counter hit. You see some crazy mix. Locks it out. Oh, gets hit by the cold slash. Probably tried to fuzzy jump off at the 2P. It's going to be a hard knockdown. Billy over the 50 meter. We're going to see TK, Bad Boon, or Hercar into that 50 50. Oh, oh the Artemis! Tries Artemis to make the Nah, that Artemis was nasty. Hold on. We need to talk about that. <laughs> What's there to talk about? That move's is broken. That's it. It's broken. GG's. You're right. Seen a lot of this air neutral. Nice Capel. Keep Kermit in this corner. Oh, wow. That meter list bad. Oh, nice swipes. Unfortunately, like a lot of these neutral hits that Biken is getting, right, is like not converting into anything. That's just the fault of the character, which is yeah, but... unfortunate because if you're not catching Milia and making her pay for like pressing anything in neutral. Banders. Yeah, Biken tends to not get too great of conversions, but a good conversion off this counter at 6 day, leading into the knockdown if Jeek decided not to burst. You know, this bad moon again. I know Rat is in chat oh. popping off, bro. Kara in the super. We got that knockdown. All right, I'm curious it's be a one scenario. 6 a try to call it a fuzzy jump, just gets deflected instead. Anti Oh, oh no. counter hit the Tommy. This should be enough to kill. Yeah. It'll kill. Okay, game one. Okay, I see, I see you, Kermit. I see you. We're not free up in here. <laughs> Kermit definitely showing off that practice that he's been getting over in NorCal. I know they got a they got a few good millions. They got Zedadaya. They got a Lermy. I didn't know Kermit was in NorCal. That's news to me. Yeah, he's one of the one of the NorCal guys. Okay. All right. Looks like we're trying to get back on the podium. Locking back into game number two. And remember, this is a first to three set. Like, these first two sets will be first to three. Like, tournament standard. Yeah, these are standard sets. I believe um, that first game was a, was a great showing from both, both players. It made it look like Cheek could definitely beat Kermit, but Kermit just has a, has a better grasp for the offensive game in general. Yeah, so. definitely, right? Like, you just actually, like, snatch victory from the Jaws of the all on one frame trap. Actually, bet it all. Capel beating the parry, anti air close slash again, this pressure, meteorless bad moon again! Oh, there's an Artemis, okay, I didn't, what do you do there? <laughs> this looks like a return of the Yeah, I mean, Have we found the answer yet? Oh, well, we got the double overhead coming in, going for that wall break, burst out, trying to not get give Millie a positive bonus. Jump over that far slash, Jeek in pressure again. One more mix up and it should be enough to kill here. Nice this box, oh my gosh. Oh, and a big counter hit, but it doesn't lead to anything, unfortunately. We do have meter. Let's make it count. YRC, get off of me. Black beat combo. Whoa! Oh, this air car, bro. That ain't hair car, that's hair play. That's air, that's air car. <laughs> <laughs> Capel over the Kabari. No kill off the 2P parry. Coming yeah, in. She, yeah, chooses not to spend meter on it, but gets it hit with the low. 100 meter bike, and this is a scary game to play. Especially, uh... A gun super trying to call out Jeek doing something on the ground there. Okay. Oh, received the two smash. That could have been anything else, but Jeek mashing, winning the round. I'll give it to you. Very solid. 
Good burst from Karmet again, trying to up, get put into this positive bonus or Oki okay situations from Milia. Corner cross up. We going into this raw. Same side. Yeah, Ooh. let's go. I got hit. I didn't. Okay. I got hit there though. <laughs> and this will be enough damage. Sheik taking game number two with the seven golden letters. Perfect. Talk to me, baby. That was good to watch. Jeek actually coming back with some crazy, some crazy offense there. That that felt unfair. Like that looked unfair. Oh, same that sequence, side. That looks like that a sequence is really scary. Yeah. That sequence is crazy. <laughs> bro, he he held uh, Kermit in that corner and then hit that cross up anyway. Like, bro, that's it. Cross up, cross up, turbo fall. They gave it to her. This is good. Not for me, but for her. We're going into this uh, this game three here. I feel like just off the the set momentum so far, we could potentially see a game five, but we'll just have to wait and watch it play out. This does look like a game five angle so far, right? Both are adapting to each other pretty quick. It's always been pretty close, except for that last round where we got the perfect. Well, that H just uh, has to have been a miss input on something. Getting put into this position, post blue wall to sort of get spike in. You never want to be here. Get that burst, go back to neutral. Oh, oh catches the back dash. This will be some big damage. This might be enough to kill, actually. No one oh, no. Or no one touch scenario messes up the Yozan sit, but the JS closes the round anyways. Kermit taking the round. Very clean clean up there from Kermit after that miss input. Oh, H Kabari oh, trade. Just trying present. to play this grunt. <laughs> Calling out that back dash with the two rage. No, H Kabari confirms, sadly. Oh, empty 2k. We're going for the mix again. Alright, which side this time, G? Alright, none. Oh, yeah. We're going to neutral. I like this, though. Hard knockdown. Got that positive bonus. I can't win 50 though, so this uh -oh. is scary. Oh no! That was probably a miss input on air grab. But we're actually spending the meter trying to take, you know, try to bait a little burst. Maybe there was an emotional burst on Kermit's side. But Kermit did not burst. Kermit holding mean? strong with this burst. Trying to trying to save it for the right moment. I mean, like it's the gonna right be now. Moment yep. Is now, yep. You definitely don't want to get Millie of have positive bonus, especially when you don't have burst or meter yourself. Especially, yeah, this version too, with all the the instant overheads and stuff, off of the fu and the fuzzy off of it. Nice parry on the six age. Right for that Escobari. I'm surprised I reached. <laughs> oh, it's oh, nice oh parry again. This should be enough to kill if the combo's optimized. Oh no! Oh, TG either, but the meteorless Yozan closing it out. Yeah. Two one for okay. again. Both these players are are head to head. It's like right there. These are very close sets. I, this might be a game five angle. Who knows? But Kermit is up two one. Jake, I think. Uh, hmm, what does NC stand for? Uh, no, North uh, North something. I think. I think your boys are are rooting for you. I think, uh, I think uh, North Colorado or something. Colorado. It's probably know. Colorado, right? Yeah, pro probably North Colorado, man. Yeah. One thing. Uh, one thing I would like to know. I did mention Kermit being from uh, Northern California earlier, but Jake with a lot of these burst burst baits. I could I could mistake Jeek for being from Northern California because that's their specialty over there. That's true. They they do like to rob and do like to bait burst. All of them. Name one NorCal player who has not attempted the bait burst on close touch. You can't. You can't. Got this IDN going for the tatami counter at six k burst immediately from Jeek trying hey, to go back to the be in that, You don't want to be in that scary spot, right? Because like I can with positive bonuses just as scary. That leaves a gap for the parry. Nice process. Oh, cross up by each Yozone. Gonna go in for this kill, actually. Hold on. What is that damage? Okay, Kermit. One round from taking this set. Having new head up one round, one point. Trust around, so 6P was unfortunately too early. Backdash, far slash. Trying to call Jeek for a throw bait. And this big Oki here. Oh. Nice empty throw. Oh, wow, tries nice to bait the first. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't have burst yet. Oh, of it. Unfortunately, oh, it Whoa. Unfortunate. Yeah, but Kermit will take the first set over, <laughs> over Team NC sweep. Jake, you fought hard, but it's not out yet. If we do make it to or series two, you probably will have another chance. You will have another chance to play. Just not against. 
Uh, Kermit. I think that's how that works. Uh, yeah. once we make it to series two, it's, it's a actually different, a different team order. Yeah, different so, team order. Yeah, right. Because because that's right. Because series one, one team gets to counterpick, and series two, the other gets. To that's right. Yeah, series okay. three though, we could see Cheek's revenge if we get that far. That'd be hype. That'd be hype. But new head again. They are. Kermit starting it off strong, right? Actually getting another dub for the team, but and uh, I'm not sure that makes three wins total for Kermit during this uh during this season. You know, we're we're gonna keep at we're gonna keep that number going up the way Kermit's playing. Kermit's definitely looking really strong here, just like we have another this side of strong contenders. MJ Karase versus Cherio. Oh my! So I think the last time they played it was i could be wrong but the last time i think i've seen them play was at frosty the after party they were both team captains oh I'm, yeah they I'm were not, yeah that's where i remember seeing them play they played for like 15 games and but i'm pretty sure mj was smoking cherio at first and did win the first of three so you know who knows something could happen yeah, but this bro. is Gold Lewis, and that's John. It is good. It is Gold Lewis Dickinson in 2024. Anything can happen. This, this is season three. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, Cheerio. I wonder how many I wonder how many white wild assaults we're gonna see. What's your bet? I'm guessing I believe we're, we're probably gonna see Yeah, we're probably gonna see like three. Cherio is known to be a lot more reserved on the White Wild Assaults compared to a lot of a lot of his contemporaries like Greta and Otter said Victor, right? A lot of the time Cheerio's just gonna like be a lot more patient and just use the threat of White Wild Assault as opposed to the move itself. Yeah, Cheerio so I wonder how that's gonna just, like play neutral, right? Is okay with blocking yeah. for a long time. That's I think one of Cheerio's biggest strengths is I am okay with blocking. But how does blocking do against, you know, a character with Encino Reds, you know? With all these mix-ups yeah, and all this, yeah, all all this guard cross strike throw potential. Yeah. Definitely excited to see how Cherio plays out, uh, plays this out. But we got MJ Cherio set number two, Series 1, here at the Aegis Team League. Let's get into it. Yeah, again, this set is first to three, right? So the next set we're going to watch is going to be first to four, but this one is first to three. I believe we're letting the intros rock. Oh, the cinematic go. Rock. Let the desert heat get to him. Yo, who is that? Oh, I can't see. Oh, that's Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> that's Jermaine. Ooh, look at that coffin. He's setting it down. He's so swaggy. <laughs> John Dude, is so cool. These characters are so cool, man. And we got original bet playing. Yo, MJ is locked in for sure. Duel one, less rock. Let's see how we. Oh my goodness. Oh, probably tries to throw a white ball assault there. Trying to try to. I, I'm own. thinking that was a missing put, JD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here we go. We're playing neutral, playing it nice and slow. Droy got level three Joan out immediately. Oh, puts herself in the corner, unfortunately. I'm just oh. trying to fight his way out here. Got the empty vault into the throw. Send up that card. Trying to set up these strong mix-ups. It's an overhead. Gets air block. Nice backdash on the throw from Cheerio. We're going to see a huge momentum switch here with the level 3 drone. Yeah, this is the backdash into it. Cheerio does have 50 tension, so here we go. Oh, actually... Does it offer... I'm hitting a 6P from MJ. Yeah. Interesting option, but we're going back to this neutral here. Dash up close slash from MJ. Cherry will be in a bit too patient against Johnny here, but the 2P mash on the empty vault, not gonna this let him get away. It's like an empty vault that's been done in a row, right? So I wonder if MJ is gonna start like not doing that. Now. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna start throwing the card late here or something. 6K again in. Oh, nice yeah. back touch on the throw again. Yeah, I had the burst there. That combo is gonna be huge. Probably gonna wall break a super. Oh, wow, that is really I'm surprised. All right, here we go. This is exactly where Johnny wants to be, right? You have cards out. I'm keeping you away, guard crush, and we have meter. Oh yeah, this, very this felt very scary. Yeah, definitely a very strong position for MJ, especially now with that 50 meter and the positive bonus. The strain is over it. Oh yeah, mess up. This is over it doesn't over matter now. anyways. We have the meter to recover and take the round. MJ Jerry are both taking, both tied up. I'm Jay getting away with a lot of these dash ups, right? Cheerio's definitely playing patient, but it's a, a curious question of whether he's being too patient here for letting MJ get away with all these dash ups. I've all three minigun, got that knockdown. Nice block on the overhead and the 6P, getting the card set up. 
Oh, and unfortunately, he didn't get guard crushed. Oh, that's that, not that good. Uh oh. So safe for calling out a fuzzy jump, I presume. This combo's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah nice. He definitely didn't combo. want to be there. Nice check on the vault this time. Oh, it drops the 2k6. No! Oh, oh, baby. There Let's it go. is. That's number one. <laughs> That's number one. Okay, Cherio. I see you. We're checking every empty vault. We're white wild assaulting. We're messing up uh, JADs, but we still taking games. I feel that. We that mostly crazy. locked in. Yeah. It felt like Cherio definitely made every right decision there, right? Every backdash was exactly when a throw was coming. Is that luck? Yeah. Or is that like a read? Who knows? We'll see. Well, we'll see if uh, MJ adapts. Maybe he tries to call it a fuzzy backdash or something here in this next game. <laughs> All right, here we go in the second, the second game of the set. Millie starting off like both players actually playing pretty reserved round start, right? No, no buttons are being thrown out. Not really. At least. Yeah, MJ in the strong position. I'd like to know, MJ switched off of Jermaine. That is true. I didn't even really pick that, pick up on that. MJ, like this ain't me. This ain't, I'm not Jermaine. I could never be him. But nice. what I can do is break this wall with this super. Putting this is super. is a big boy. This might not kill. It's probably oh. life. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, even with the extra wall damage, it doesn't matter. But here we go. Setting up our win oh, in Delay, play. instant yeah. overhead. Yeah, when you start delaying it, especially, right? That's like when it gets scary, because you know, you, you you're giving you're like giving the opponent the false hope of like being able to match out. That rising JK probably trying to challenge a straight JV, but hitting hitting Cherio standing. Nice. I like that oh, no. TP confirmed. White Wild Assault, baby! Oh, I'll try to wake up in Senga. Bro, thank you, Leo! <laughs> Wake up, 2D. <laughs> nice IBFD. Not enough, though, because Cheerio has this RC able to maintain this pressure. 2P out, gets the throw. Sets up this card here for another guard crush situation. Oh, but we're just white wild assaulting out. We don't want to deal with any of this. Cheerio, and we have reached the quota of our three white wild assaults for the set. We probably going to see another one. We probably are. We got that empty vault again from MJ. Going oh, uncontested yeah. again. Oh, it's an overhead after the guard crush. That's cheap. We going in for the mix. You know, it's crazy because from like what I'm seeing, like obviously Johnny Cully has his faults, but he's like close. I feel like he's pretty close to being good. And I don't think the answer is the dash block that everybody wants, you know? Yeah, I feel like um, there are definitely more interesting ways you can make Johnny stronger than just giving him a more traditional step dash. I feel like um, there's definitely like room to work with in his kit though. I feel like making Card into Guard Crush Mistfinder more consistent would definitely help him because we yeah. saw that earlier in the set, right? Where it would just whiff on Cheerio at certain spacings. Yeah, definitely. But you know, then there comes the other heart uh the other part of it is like if we make it bigger set. Is that like the less fair, is that more fair? I don't know, it's you know because against certain character, Johnny's can just uh loop that in quotations, right? Yeah, so it's a very hard give and take to do as a balanced designer. Just like this give and take of this neutral, Cherio taking control of the swing here, though. Nice, I think for a nice little reset in the back dash, quite wild assault. Oh, we're gonna keep chasing MJ. Oh, MJ unfortunately chooses wrong and gets hit with the JD. Got set back into this corner position uh -oh. by the drone. Counter hit 268. It <laughs> should be enough to kill. Yeah, that's his likely death. Yeah. All right, Cherio, taking the first round of this game. Nice with the oh, counter hit. Oh, kind of XP. Definitely a strong answer option from Gold Lewis in this matchup, but setting up this uh, this positive bonus here. Nine frame far slash. Nine frame far slash. Yep, <laughs> and it's really far too. You know, one of the better ones in the game. At least I think. You know, goes it's that far. Really yeah. We got the throw off of the guard crush. Instant overhead connects, going right nice. into that Cario super. What's my name? Will this kill? Johnny. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't. Golos is a big boy. Even with the extra wall damage, it does not matter. But there you go. There is again, right? With the 5k delay overhead. Can we have conditioned the mid-level player to block low. 
Nice. Oh, empty vault getting checked from Sherry once again. Oh, that is mega plus. Gotta be careful with that. I'm Jake Hall trying to backdash or something by getting hit by that 248. Backdash in that card is huge. I am so surprised. Like, none of these cards, like, a lot of these cards just aren't hitting, right? Like, you, they're in yeah. ranges where you think they would. Nice tech on a throw, but catches Chariot jumping out. Looks like we're gonna see another one. What is my name? Jermaine! <laughs> Here we go, we got that hard knockdown, positive bonus, using it to set up a card, but we have that extra tension building up. First on the instant overhead, sets up the drone, MJ just jumping over it though. Okay, Hitting that NTR first time. Okay, it was okay. That, okay. that was clean. I'm loving, I'm loving like the convergence off these stray hits that MJ is just constantly like, you know, getting. I think that's one of my favorite things about Johnny, right? Yeah, his like, conversion. The cool. conversions are definitely very cool to at least from a spectator point of view. Yeah. I feel like um I feel like we're gonna have to watch Jerry I'll try to try to maybe play a bit more aggressive here into MJ. If we're Yeah, it definitely feels gonna... like might be you know, might be giving MJ a little bit too much space, but it's also like MJ can just create that space, right? Because you know, we don't necessarily have to fight. Yeah, for sure. Jerio's definitely gonna have to clutch up here because if MJ wins this set, then we go we go to break, and then after break we go to series two immediately. Mm -hmm. But if Cherio does win this, we're gonna have to see set number three. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah, nice two P on the round start. Farsa hitting the jump. There. That's really surprising though. We've seen that so consistently. I set up on the card. Uh, yep, we're gonna burst. We don't want this positive bonus, right? But we definitely don't like Johnny having meter. Oh, that VT sending that way is so interesting. Nice oh. bait on the super. Uh, burst immediately. Not trying to, not trying to deal with that. I'm amazed at that. Dash up twice into the counter hit close slash. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Some you know, that might control. Yeah, as MJ would say, that's that's pure that's skill. Gap. Pure gap. That's pure skill. All right, here we go. Johnny with positive bonus. Got a good look. Yeah. MJ on, to close MJ on now. series point. Man. Trying yeah, to hold this down for good. Yeah, kind of like... Why about us all after the Nsenga? Nice IBFD. Johnny, like, MJ is playing very clean today with a sick K to smoke the BT attempt. Oh, Nsenga hitting oh, the back dash. Nice. That's huge. Kara Super? Not even needed for that range. Yeah, we've seen What's his name? dance before. What is his name, chat? <laughs> I Joe! I think it's Joe. It might be Joe. Yeah, keeping the range, farming the meter. I swear to see, we don't want to be here. Overhead. Oh, 248 catching MJ trying to backdash again. Yeah, this could be a really yeah, level three bad. Oh, 486 counter hit. This is a huge leading into that knockdown. We have burst and tension almost on deck. MJ can make out of this with a little bit of solid defense, but unfortunately the burst comes just a little bit too late. Cherio takes the round. Dual three. It's clipped by that A6 here. MJ up on this burst here though. It's just gonna be very scary for Cherio to try to work through. Oh, backdash oh, on the throw yeah, attempt. This yeah. is huge. Big momentum swing again. BD268 gets deflected. Gives oh, MJ nice more breathing room here. Oh, the 6A4 counter hit. Oh, See, super this, I feel like though. this is arguably a little better, right? Because we're going into the wall break with more meter. But then nice with the yeah. 6k whip on it. Nice 6k. Yeah, it's Jerry an overhead again. <laughs> Jerry, I'll definitely gonna have to have yeah, to find a way. Might see to my Yep. <laughs> that was gonna say. He got hit by the card, though. Unfortunate from Jerry. <laughs> that you know what that was. Oh, I, I already know what that was. Going oh, right into that car super. We're in a one-touch scenario. Positive bonus refreshing, but we're gonna just keep it. Uh oh. My spur is going right into that laser super. I'm Jake. Doesn't it even here? care about the laser. We just go straight for the for the S Miss Fighter. Yeah, Take I'm it. willing to well. gamble it all on the S Miss Fighter. Yeah, because if it was block, most MJ was definitely died to the super, right? So it was definitely betting it all on that one move. Good job on MJ. Good job to Team Newhead for taking series number one. We didn't need to go into the third. Yeah, this Dang, was okay. This was in fact Newhead's counter pick, right? They got to see um, they got to see NC's order before uh, 
and she got to see their order. Yeah. So very interesting that uh, their counter picks ended up working so fast. They didn't yeah, even it definitely did, right? Because like, it, it, I feel like a lot of the things we were talking about, like actually, at least on Jeek and Kermit's side, actually ended up happening, right? You know, with like Kermit was RPSing the neutral very, very well, or just playing the neutral, right? And even though Biken has trouble converting off these like stray hits, made it work. So good job on Kermit. And on MJ and Cherio's side, even Cherio. I don't think that's it. And on MJ no, and Cherio's that's side, that's yeah, I just, I just saw the, the chat. Yeah. So good job on Team Newhead for taking series number one. We're going to go into a little bit of an intermission, and I think we'll be back with series number two, which we have a, t- a different team order. This time, Team NC Sweep will be counterpicking. Hello, you're back from our five minute intermission. I hope you got some water, some popcorn, whatever you're trying to deal with right now. We're going to start off series two. Of New Head versus NC Sweep. Uh, New Head won Series 1, so if they win this series as well, then that's it. They beat NC Sweep and they're in finals. Yeah. Playing off versus, I believe, the winner of Four Faith and Nine Moons. Oh. So that'll be, that'll be interesting to watch next week, Wednesday, 8.15 p.m. Tap in. But before all that, Let's talk about this series too, right? We let's talk about let's, let's recap on series one for the people who are just joining in, right? So it was we had a bunch of close sets, but it was a 2-0 from Team Newhead, right? Kermit Jeek was it game five or was it game four? I game it might four. have been three one or three. It was yeah, three four. one. MJ Cherio was also pretty close, but Cher- MJ just barely coming out on top to like risking it all. The momentum was crazy. But this time. The order will be different because now Team NC Sweep gets the counter picks. So it looks like the order for this time around will be a boy versus Cherio, Kermit versus Lurie, and MJ versus Jeek. I, I, I could definitely see the vision behind all of these counter picks, right? Because, you know, Gold Lewis, Potemkin, historically like a uh, Gold Lewis favored matchup, right? Kermit, Lurie, Biken, Faust. Honestly, I. Uh, I know Lurie hates fighting Faust. They probably put him up to it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but then we have uh, MJ and Jeek, Milia and, uh, and Jermaine, right? And Jermaine definitely has a lot of far-reaching committal buttons, but how does that do against somebody who's really nimble really fast? You know, Especially Pixie someone game. as airborne as Milia. Yeah. I wanna, I'm curious. If, I, I kind of want to see us get that far. If we do, awesome. If we don't, Mm, we'll then see. that means we go into series three, right? That like we would have yeah. to have gone into series three at that point. If uh, if NC wins this series, then yeah, we like go NC... into series three. Right. Okay. All right. Series three could happen, but I think we're all ready to go. A boy versus Cherio. You're at the Aegis Team League series number two. Let's get into. I, it. I think this, I think this set is very interesting because we saw these two face off at TNS Nine in Winners Finals, and a boy. Taking a really surprising game five over Cheerios. I'm wondering if Cheerios studied up on the matchup a lot, tried to get to that position of confidence in this. Alright. Oh, nice job. Starting to get off with a 2k counter hit, going right into your wood condition. It's Potemkin with the Potemkin Buster taking off that health bar. Oh my goodness. Alright, for that White close slash meaty White Wild Assault, continue the offense. Get that meter. Hammerfall into Garuda. Flip the jump. Go for Meaty Garuda again. Chain this. A hit in the mesh. That should be enough to kill. Go for the. Go for the. The, uh, uh, the, the wall. What was that? Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. A oh boy. <laughs> with the. <laughs> starting it off strong with the perfect. Very clean round from a boy here. Starting it off. Nice. Five Peter. Probably catch a JD attempt very early, right? We're using our meter with cannibals and on them. Oh my god. That one. Temp get busted. Pop Busters have had a really high hit rate versus Cherio here. Minion trying to hit that armor. Very nice. Get the hard knockdown. RC off of the 6A4. Going for that A6U. Just wow, running this good. offense. And I believe. But... Oh, mashes on 2-6A. That's unfortunate. Cherio with 50 meter here versus Potemkin. And I believe. Oh, no. uh, oh this is a 6A4. I believe right. Gold Lewis has a few instant overheads on Potemkin if uh, if a 6A4 RC connects, so this will be very interesting uh, uh, with this meter. Oh, oh, super, super. super. Was... Okay, I was wondering how this would work, but it actually looks like it might be Potemkin favored if Potemkin IPs all the laser hits, right? 
will take yeah, longer for, sure. for Potemkin to get to Gold Lewis and quicker for the Reflector to get to Gold Lewis. That's interesting. Yeah, the wall definitely takes a bit uh, more time than the laser, so. Yeah. Definitely the main thing. The back is going to is very good. Nice Jayas on the Mega Fist at time, trying to get over that drone. Starts his offense here off of the 6A4. Flips a boy trying to press on it. And going for the hard knockdown. Probably going to try to set up these overheads. No, it just gets hit by the far slash meaty. Uh, Even yeah, our character like the dunk is it's just enough to kill. Fine enough, ending it off with the with the 5P. I, you know, I'm wondering if Chariot thought he might have had meter for super, and that happened. <laughs> Maybe, you know. Definitely, definitely a plausible outcome here. Definitely. But nonetheless, we got game goal number one going to Chariot. But remember, like we mentioned earlier in the series, it'll be first two first to threes and then a first to four. But we got to make it to that first to four. So yeah, far, we're up sure. one game here on Chariot. Chariot looking very dominant in that first game. I wonder mm -hmm. if he, if uh, he'll be able to maintain that momentum going forward here. Oh, also oh, hit counter talk slash as the burst here. Doesn't want to eat that big confirm. Yeah, definitely right. Because you know you definitely don't want Potemkin having meter. Potemkin with meter is kind of a scary character. Yeah, you definitely a lot of belligerent. A drone connects versus a boy. Oh, Hammerfall right into the pop buster. Yeah, Chario definitely was trying to bait a YRC there, but actually got opened up by. Oh, oh my god, that's a thing? I didn't know that was a what thing. Are these, what are these safe for nationals as secrets? A boy! <laughs> I said, I'm not saving for nationals. Maybe, maybe a boy pulled this out of TNS. I don't <laughs> I don't think he did. I think that's new. Okay. Discovering new tech every day, but the white wall also a hard knockdown positive bonus on Gold Lewis. We got the meter. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna cash out. With a boy consistently been trying to trying to press on these super knockdowns when Jerio has a 50 meter fourth instant overhead setups, right? So I believe yeah. he, he just doesn't wanna wanna hold that, right? Which is fair. Nice clip on the jump with the 2k. We got the double Garuda Oki. Hold another one for your troubles. I, I gotta give it to a boy, right? Definitely very comfortable with using like all their meter. You know, you know what kind of level of like you gotta be really comfortable to use all your bursts like that. Yeah, for, for sure. You definitely have to have the confidence to to know that it's gonna work out. And nice hit. Oh, going this is... for the Kara combos. This should kill. Oh my goodness! Apparently. What happened? <laughs> where, where did that damage come from? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Potemkin Kara route, and he had like fifty risk. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, definitely cash out the big counter hit, right? Uh, that, what, what was that, like 60% at least, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and the combo wasn't even done. Even it was the just on 6k yeah. flick and, the, and the, the, the wall super. Super. Just kept going. All right. A boy. Not going down without a fight. Cherry, oh boy, one to one. Definitely a, a very close set so far. Wonder if we are gonna see some adaptations from Chario, you know. We saw him hold uh hold a couple fake Garudas. I wonder if he's gonna start trying to look for those and react and jump to those. But we'll just have to see. Right, playing this one nice and slow, but here he goes that JD, right? But Temkin doesn't really like a JD. Very I don't say very difficult, but definitely something that go to uh that Temkin does not like to deal with. Yeah, for sure. Hammerfall after that 6A4, trying to get pressure. Backdash is the 2k. Very surprising from Shiro. Nice. Mega Fist. Armor is the 6A4. It's a close slash move here. Everyone's favorite mechanic, White Wild Assault, comes in. YRC on the drone. Okay, we are blocking all these Garudas. Yeah, testing the react. Nice to be into the knockdown. BFD the 6A4 gets clipped by the 2k. Instant overhead setup. Off yeah. of the 6 by 4 block with the PRC. Yeah, that is that is a Potemkin only thing. Most characters to set up the fuzzy, they have to be stand block. Potemkin is so tall and so wide, it can be done off of any block PT. And speaking of blocking, we're blocking and trying to... We got grabbed. Again! Let's well, do two dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Actually, this is not the Scuts Crushes, yeah. Yeah, it goes for the Guts Crush Heat Knuckle, and that will take it perfect. Okay, a boy. Very clean round from a boy. Definitely a, a Potemkin Twitter clip round, if we've ever seen one. 
Oh, no, he's no, fine with my combo dash. neutral. Clint's a backdash with the slide head. I gotta give it to a boy. A boy playing this very clean. Yeah, both players are definitely playing this neutral here a bit slow. Oh, tries to back Megavis over the over the drone, but gets clipped. Arbor's the JD, oh, no. gets the air throw, sets up the Garuda Oki. Burst out, doesn't want to hold that. White Ball just all through the drone. Nice. Backdash is the close smash though. Yeah, might opt to keep the corner here. Yep, in the drone. Just up drone, nice deflect from a boy though. Don't confirm, which is unfortunate. Trying to slide head the next BT after. Yeah, no open. luck though. No dice. That's wow. that J426 hitting into a pickup? Nah, that's crazy. I didn't, didn't even know that was a big room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, the Chario up 2 1. But these, like, if that last set has anything else, right? Close. Very close. Very close. Yeah. I think a boy can do it. I think Chario can take this. I actually don't really know who will take this. It's hard to say. So it's a very hard set to predict here. A boy, definitely big fan of going to game five constantly, every tournament set ever. So we could see it again here. All right, here we go. Potential last game to the first set of series two. For that 4 it's like trying to bait, uh, bait a throw from a boy. My wall yeah. assault, not confirmed. Oh, yeah, get into we the pop about. Definitely comfortable into using all our bursts, right? Going just for the confirm. Yeah, oh, I think a boy yeah. thought that was a burst, but that was just some yeah. mid space to red wall assault or red RC, which is unfortunate. Oh, I like this. Okay. I like, the drone trying I to play also like this super. We got, we got the wall. Hits the backdash with the far slash. It's like, like, again, that's what we were talking about earlier, right? Potemkin with meter, definitely a scary creature. Terrible. Yeah, his idea. metered options are definitely very scary. It's just a matter of how you get into those metered positions. So oh. Goma is good though. Midi 862 hitting, uh, hitting a boy for that knockdown. You see another fuzzy. Nice block on the low. Nice whip punish. No pickup after though, which is unfortunate. But Tumkin just doesn't get to confirm off of those longer range hits, which is really important in this matchup. Yeah, they didn't even get the chance to give him burst. But we do have burst going into this next round. But if a boy sure, shows yeah. anything, it will be used on White Wild Assault. <laughs> it will be used on everyone's favorite mechanic. Or oh, Gordon burst. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh tries the White Wild Assault because counter hit out of the first eight frames of it. Frame trap on the jump in. Got clipped low by the 5k here. It's gonna be a, gonna be a big position for Sherry. Oh, all right, we're out of the corner, I guess. Oh, nice. the white water assault. I guess hit by the wake up super. Yeah, they won't kill because Potemkin is one of the heavier characters in the Red game. But the 5k Behemoth Tafu to take the game and take the set. Cherio up three one over a boy. Very, oh. very clean showing from Cheerio. Definitely showing that he has studied up on that matchup since CNS9. Mm -hmm. Very, very solid. See, like, it's already looking very different compared to, like, last time, right? Or, like, or not even just last time, to Series 1, because NC actually got a win now. Now Yeah, we're on the board. Yeah, and we didn't actually get to see Lurie play at all. So, and but Lurie also had the chance to study on Kermit. So I wonder how confident Lurie is going into this. You know, I know, I know Larry pretty well. He's a he's a big fan of fighting biking. That's his oh, favorite yeah. matchup. Yeah, all biking players hit up Larry. Loves that all matchup. biking players. Yeah, he's 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 gonna call you very nice things if you do meterless yells on. Yeah, do it three times even. <laughs> Enough trolling. We going into the set. A Larry versus Carmen. A series two. They just team league. All right, we're starting it off. Wow, immediately with the crazy call out, the 6K round star to beat the 2P. We're starting off strong. Fair clean from Kermit. Nice throw attack from, from Larry here. 
Oh, misses it because of the yeah. tether. Yeah, didn't really count for the tether being there, but he still had that afro. He could be ignited any moment. Yo, mirrorless, yo, Zon, take notes. Oh, but the grab. The grab in cinematic info, making sure that Kermit doesn't get hit by that afro. Oh, doesn't break the wall with the hammer. Uh, source the bomb for later. Nice, far slash. Nice. We are not seeing that bomb. Nine frame far slash. Come and put in a work. Nice back Tries to charge us yeah. for the for the guard crush here. Speaking of guard crush, we going in for that Escobar off the blue wild assault. 5k. Ooh, Very that's clean hit on that yeah. back dash. Nice choice. Oh, DRC oh, instant overhead guys. hitting the yes. parry. Not yes. being able to get a blue wild assault knocked down here though. Unfortunately, going right back to neutral. It's a nice little safe jump. Oh, side swap. Nice. Could confirm off the 2H here. Not enough yeah, to kill, a sadly. Ton of hits, so it builds spike and just a bunch of bursts, right? Yeah, well, because of the, the mix, 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 multiple hits. Nice cross up on the Yozon here. I'm gonna see this combo into the hard knockdown. Oh, but the bait the effect. Yozon probably hitting a super attack. Kermit, yeah. going up 1 0 on Larry. They didn't even need to use the, the 50 tension from the throw, right? I'll Oh. Kermit, Kermit was probably saving it for something. But there we go. That's Kermit game one. I would, it was still pretty close, right? Larry definitely put up a fight, but it's like, it's some of those, it's like a brolic matchup even. The way Biken wants to play it at least, right? Definitely right, makes his team I... very brolic. And Faust is not very comfortable. Yeah, not normally. Right, and I think it's definitely very hard, especially fighting as seasoned of a Biken player as Kermit, right? Definitely mm -hmm. plays a lot against Apology Man at Guildhouse, right? So definitely has some matchup experience on Lock. So that is true, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you this. did mention NorCal. Dual one. Let's rock oh, nice clipping the round star of the two with the R slash. Miniature Man on screen, have to be very wary to not run into him. Gets a guard crush on the scalpel, throws a bomb out. Hits the bomb back. The wait there. Where is Miniature Man? Where'd he go? The time was up. Trumpet behind. Larry teleports to the trumpet. Not really getting much of it though. It's a J2K into the mix mix corner bursted. So it's up the. Oh no! Doesn't get a parry. Oh! It's a cross up against mix POS. Okay, nice with the 5k Kara mix mix mix. Into the parry right on top of the bomb. Nice, using the bomb to, like, running away from it, using the bomb to actually make uh, himself save. Like, good job, Alvary. But the item recognition. Oh. That's one of the, one of the more amusing moves. things about Faust players, right? They know how to play against, around all their items at all times. For sure. Bomb multiple of those hammers there. Definitely kept Kermit grounded there. And just like this counter, far slash on the ground, cross up. It's a clip by the blue wild assault into this confirm. It's not going to do the most damage, but it's going to put Kermit back into a favorable position here. BRC tried to set up a fuzzy, but Larry just got hit. Meteors yeah. and Miniature Man, this is a position you do not want to be in. Oh, we're just gonna air dash. Flip right by back after low. Yeah. Hammer, pulling all these after hammers, low. trying to stop Kermit's air approach. Okay, we got the Mini Faust on deck. We got in the reserves, but we have to get out to use them. Uh, Meteorless Yozon, don't take notes. Nice with the 6P round star, leading into the wind con. Nice to flesh shield, putting a nice bike in the cross, so. yeah, Hitting that H cover here, to going damage. right into the thrust. Look how much damage that was. This charge thrust is serious damage. Hot potato with the bomb, sending up multiple of those afros. Nice JH, gonna get a ignite pickup, yup. Right into the super, doesn't yep. want to give Kermit the chance to burst. Breaker shins! Yeah! Alright, but Faust. Positive bonus. Uh, we gotta buy some time because Biken does have 50 tension and burst on deck. Burst back into the trumpets. The, the chels coming oh. back to the ground. Blocks the top dust, but gets clipped by the 2k after. Crawled. Far slash getting crawled as the punish. And Larry, 1 1, evening it up. Okay. Definitely exude like uh, uh, like some confidence at the end there, right? Just standing still as the as the trumpet was coming. I'm gonna watch what you. I don't yeah, need to come to you. You need to come to me. Definitely, just having that patience is really important. Yeah, that Lurie definitely felt like the main character there. But we are one-on-one. -on -one. This set still could go either way. This is Biken Faust.
you know, Faust could random out biking and vice versa. It's I'm excited true. to see how this will go. You know, both both parties here could just be as random as the outcome of a Mario Party game. That's true. That's true. But there's also some finesse here. Just like Great. Mario Party. Got the 6P on the round start, probably hitting a far slash. Goes same side. Keeps Larry in this position. Nice Locks the meteor in the still zone. Yeah. Oh, but gets clipped there, unfortunately. We're just looping back into the same position we were at before, but 2D does not give Lori a chance to burst. Takes the wrap. Okay, Kermit. Very clean confirm from Kermit going low there instead of for the Yozan again, as we see represented so much from them. Oh, strips of the banana has to wait up and the bomb. Definitely gonna be seeing some hot potato while they try to fight for a trumpet as well. Let's watch two rage. Oh, I guess thrown before the army comes out. Such so up this really nice position for Larry. Nice with a TK bomb back. Dude's it twice. Yeah, Should meter. hold these plus frames. Tried to hit the oh, fuzzy jump with the TK, but gets the anti yeah. pickup anyway. Holds the bomb, gets the gets the command grab off. Oh, I kinda like that, right? Like, you know, doing Kara like item eat. That was cute. Yeah, that was oh. pretty cute. Got the miniature man. Interrupted the combo right into the instant overhead. Very good awareness. Yeah. There it is, a 6P again, round star. Just gonna constantly do it. I'm not afraid to do it. All right, both well, players being very mobile and like neutral right here, right? Two bombs out on the screen. Lurry going to potential danger. Very. Very big position for for Larry here. He has miniature man. The lights up. All oh, right into miniature man. That's double trumpets here. Two oh, armies okay. and the hammer stopping that air approach entirely. Just having to force Kermit to block, but was blocked into a parry. Sets up the the instant overhead, but gets clipped by the YRC into the six H. As nice, and there's the Afro with the banana peel there, right? Could definitely. Oh, a no fly oh, zone. Just the ammo. We're just running. We're just flying around. <laughs> oh, but this is the big counter hit. We almost have 110. Don't get it enough immediately, though. Just... Counter hit by the yes. blue wild until after the 2H. We're using all of our resources to continue this like suffocating pressure that happened right there, right? And Lorraine just probably try a throw attempt or something, but unfortunately, not even for unfortunate for Lurie. Kermit did take the game, but the set is not over yet. We're only 2-1. Larry could bring this back. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely, um... We're seeing Larry being able to hold down the neutral really well. It's just the, the defensive aspect of the matchup that he's really faltering in, which is very hard, especially against a character with a strong offense as Mike and right? I gotta give it to, to Kermit. He's like... These clutch like rounds, like these comebacks are kind of crazy. I love a good comeback story. Same, honestly. Oh, nice ID God. over the scalpel. Tries oh, to nice. throw after the tatami gets clipped by the Escobar here. Maybe just all 30%. Ross Duper gets safe trapped by that close slash. Wow. I didn't think that I... was off the Yeah, I didn't know that could happen. Oh, maybe because Bow Super is so slow. That's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. I know Faust Super is slow, I just didn't think it was that slow. It was just yeah, crazy. Yeah, banana peel, parry RC, gold burst. Gonna take Kermit away from him. Nice hammer, dude, like keeping keeping biking grounded. We have Trumpet coming out. Oh, but then the banana oh. peel. A miniature man, the hammer's the bomb. Oh my god, is this Skull Duggers I'm watching? What is this Game Shark RNG? <laughs> Game Shark RNG. Oh, we're gonna keep tossing out some items. This is the best way to play here. There you go. Item super twice over. How many bombs, bombs is that? Very, there's so many. Man, it's the very hammer hard hits the bombs back, it. right back at Bike. That's. Right, but here we go. Just the be in to... yeah, You don't want to be in the air, right there. That's the air. Oh, pulled a bad item for the first time, and it cost him. J2K, both on last hit, gets the chip by the Yozonson. Kermit on set point. That's gotta hurt, right? Spending that whole round. That's gotta be very frustrating. Spending that whole round zoning, trying your best. 
Yeah, for Any sure. Any godlike game shark RNG. <laughs> Only oh, I jumped Scalpel again. Put back into this position that Lori struggled with recently here. Oh, the jump out though. It forces up very certainly. Nice pickup on that. That was really good. Cool. Yeah, very good. Oh no! 6 H doesn't connect. Xyde's over the scalpel from Kermit have just been so consistent, right? I wonder if we're gonna see Larry try to try to adjust and use a different option next round here because this should be enough to kill. No, just drops for the no. TK bomb pack. No punish on the nice. Kabari too, yeah, but it's too but too it's too You know, that's very interesting. We've seen that situation happen a few times. Right? I wonder what is, like, what's Faust's option there? Or, uh, like, situations like this, like, off of 2H. Maybe Itami would be the safest thing to do, but, like, it feels like you're also giving up. Like, you're, just giving, you're giving, uh, giving up yeah. a lot of space, right? Because that's bike in JS. You have to be, like, so ready to anti air it. And Faust does not have yeah. the best for speed. I wonder yeah, if, like, those other anti air options are definitely solid enough, right, to make up yeah. for it. Uh, exactly. Just like pulling three hammers and the weight are solid enough anti airs. My god! Bomb. Hammer. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. Wait. <laughs> Mini Mini Faust, yo, what is this RNG? <laughs> yo! Get Skullduggers off your Xbox, man! Hold on! Got the jump in here from Kermit. Oh, oh yes, he jumped. Oh, Use the very good cool. from Larry. I believe this is game five. Okay, Larry. That one, bet it on a fuzzy jump right there at the end, right? And it ended up working out. I definitely, I would not have fuzzy jump. You know, that was me though. That's sure. just me. I don't fuzzy jump. It, but, you know, I do fuzzy jump, but I would have died for fuzzy jumping at some point. So yeah, definitely. But this is a game five angle, game five scenario. So if Lori does win this, we will see the eluded, mysterious series three, right? Yeah, for sure. We're going to see Series 3 crew battle format. All first to three sets. Whoever wins three sets first wins wins their, their match and proceeds into playoff finals. Duel 1. Let's rock. Nice, keeping far the line, like, nice little perfect. spacing game, right? 5k anti air trying to clip Kermit jumping early. We got the bomb into the miniature man. Oh, oh bomb oh, hitting him yeah. during the scalpel. It's unfortunate, but another miniature man so soon. Hammer just calling out that air option. We're just gonna keep using another the miniature man? How many Why? bombs is that? That was and like two bombs in a miniature man. I think the the craziest thing there was how none of those bombs ignited that afro. Oh, that's true, yeah, but I believe Kermit was blocking, so that could be why, but regardless, set point for Larry, potentially could go to a Series 3. Yeah, these counter picks are definitely like, you know, they're working. For but sure. I mean, my, it could bring this out. I would not count Kermit out. We have seen the comebacks here before, and apparently, according to the chat, Kermit, and, and use it, use it also said this, like, they play against Vanita a lot, right? So definitely use it about Yeah. Definitely, definitely has some matchup experience here. So if Larry wins here, it's definitely going to be a pretty big win. A oh, nice with Rusty nice J8, with J8. With all this risk, it should be enough to kill Oh my Larry. gosh, what a, what a crazy read, but hold up. Taking series two for NC Sweep, bringing yeah. us to a third series. Bringing us to a tie, so bringing us to the third series. So that's it, There, are, there is no more counter picks. Now they're just going at it like a normal crew battle. It'll be three sets. First to three each. Now, first to death, all right? Like this, they're, they're playing for their lives, here, right? They're playing like, for pride, for honor, for everything, for go hard. For their game. chance at $120, at least minimum, right? Potentially, yes. Yeah. Okay. And I think, yeah. Okay, cool. This, this, is, this is good. This is, this is, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're keeping it competitive. I don't know if, uh, Vinny, I don't know if you uh, ordered your ordered your team to you know keep it competitive, but you know what? Tell them to lock in. All right, series three, time to win. And I'll see Sweet, you in the. I don't know who the captain is. I'll, I'll see you in that voice chat, Vinny. You gotta you gotta tell your crew lock in, lock in. I see I see Andre streaming as well. I yeah. need you. I need you to inform bros to lock in. Not to lock in.
No, but let's um so like let's let's review real quick, right? So we had like series one, it was a it was a 2-0, Kermit beating Jeek and MJ beating Chariot, right? Larry and a boy dirty because series two, it was the same thing, just mirror, right? Boy Chariot, Chariot won, Kermit Lurry, Lurry won, MJ and G. Did it. So I wonder if Series 3, they're just going strictly for wins. Like, that's just. Do they know who they're going to pick? This is just like. I think we're we're still waiting on them to decide whether or not um, who their first pick is for them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we're we're waiting on them to determine who their first pick is currently. So we're going to wait for uh, to see who their first pick is. Okay. So while we wait on that, I believe we're just we're just kind of vibing. How are you feeling going into the series three, Gummy? I'm feeling good. I, I, I honestly I can't call a winner, right? I think it'd be interesting to see some of these um some of these like players who didn't get to play each other, like uh like let's see, like uh Jeek and a boy they didn't play, right? It'd be interesting to see them play, but I I think both teams are just gonna go for the win. Want yeah, I believe so as well. Speaking of winning, uh, the other side in the semifinals mm-hmm. playoff right now, Four Faith versus Nine Moons is currently one one, and in their series three crew battle. Oh. If you want to watch that, pull up your multi Twitch first off. Stay here, and then boot up Danny MZT underscore FGC. He's streaming that side. You gotta, you gotta see, you gotta see it. Show some love. Yeah, currently I think it's Fern versus Rats, right? Like that's who that's. Playing I right? believe so. That's a, it's an interesting set, right? Kai and probably top one million. I think I think that's the best, right? Or maybe give it to Walter. It's like Rat or Walter. It. Very, yeah. very contested spot in America, but or. definitely both of them are very strong regardless. Yeah, definitely. Open up open up that multi open up that multi Twitch, right? I see y'all in chat, Vinny. Drop that Twitch <laughs> show some love, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, but if you guys I also enjoy see y'all in chat, Andre. <clears throat> drop that prime. Yeah, drop that prom. <laughs> no, but if you guys are enjoying this, be sure to tap in every Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we'll also be back with a winner's finals of the Team League, right? Is that, is that... It's just finals because there's just no double elimination. There is no... Oh, okay. We'll be, we'll be here with the, winner, with, the, with the finals side. Same time next week, 8.15. And be sure to tap into like, everything else as well. Definitely is cool stuff. I think I think the players are still uh they're still they're, they're still, still they're still thinking up. they're thinking really hard on this they're trying to determine what the best outcome would be Let's see Hey okay so you know you know what you got you got any predictions Um I feel like their first. I feel like for for new heads, mm-hmm. a first pick of MJ would not shock me because MJ, MJ would probably do solid into most of NC's roster, right? Sure. It's definitely just like a strong option if new heads just wants to get this over with quickly. It's just a matter of can Cherry adapt from that last set, or can Larry or G clean it up here, for uh, versus MJ. It does I don't look- know. Oh, oh, we would appear we have Cheek versus a boy. Actually, my wish has been granted, right? Like, I definitely, like I said earlier, I want... they haven't played each other, and I'm curious as to how it would go, right? Some people say that, uh, say that Potemkin beats Amelia, or yeah, maybe some of the players say that Potemkin beats Amelia, right? With all the health and the crazy damage the pot does, and the fact that you have to be within throw range at all times, it could be very scary. But Amelia does have a new throw bait move called Artemis, so I wonder how that impacts. You know, we. Uh, I believe this set's gonna be gonna be pretty interesting to watch. Mm-hmm. We've been talking up a lot of uh, a lot about Artemis recently, but I feel like um, for a character Artemis. like Batumkin, having similar tools in like back mega fist, right? Because yeah. I've seen Amelia players use Artemis defensively in a similar manner to how Batumkin uses back mega fist. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see Artemis use like that versus Batumkin. Yeah, I-, I wonder as well, right? But like so far, we haven't really seen it used defensively, at least on Jinx side. Maybe yeah, we could call that defense right there, which is happening. Back to those neutral situations right there. First thing that's, there, not trying to hold the Oki there. If that's another one so we haven't seen that much heat tackle. Uh, I wonder like if that's used a lot here. I'm also curious how heat tackle is used in this matchup. Just because of like white wild assault whiffs. 
keep just going in for this mix up off of the SS Garcia. Back Magnificent out. The slide hat on the ground. Nice check from Jeek. He's trying to hold this corner position before he gets a, this set up or something here. No, just wall break. All right, we got that positive bonus, but no hard knock that will return. We're going for the SS Garcia again. Uh oh, this is a scary thing. Oh, but Bates the Flesh Shield still gets the knockdown, unfortunately. Back Mega Fist making that assist with entirely. These two piece from Jink have just been really solid. They're just holding holding a boy down. Oh, we're, we're using burst here. Okay, we are going for this win. Yeah, a boy just wants to win this round. Oh, back Mega Fist gets clipped by Capel. Oh, that's. I'm surprised considering how far Capel was, right? Yeah. We see this uh, this confirmed from GQ. Send up the Oki. Just going for a J shitty. Nice. nice. Like, oh, Clips is an air throw on left, right? With the can, lighthouse can, close slash anti air. You can air throw Milia out of J H J D uh, into Capel. But if Milia does turbo fall, that's the main RPS point there. So that's a really good awareness from GQ. Going cross up here, ambiguous on the mix up. Wonder if a boy's gonna burst. No, it just holds it. GQ up 1 yeah. 0. That was a. Um... It was hard to see there, but like it definitely looked like a burst bait there at the end because we didn't see an extra like button on that last jump. I think that was yeah. a checkmate scenario, unfortunately. Well, this is definitely a very, very hard situation to call. Yeah. All right, but here we go. Jeek up 1 0 versus the boy. And remember, all these sets are going to be first to three. And I believe it is how Series 3 works is they just keep throwing players until one team has three wins, right? That's how that works. Winner stays on, first of three sets. All right, here we go. Going into game number two of Series 3 here at the Aegis Team League Dual Run. Let's rock. Well, starting it off immediately, both players with some crazy, like, honestly, I'm about. Nice far slash clip from, from a boy trying to preemptively heat, heat knuckle cheek out of the air. Nice IBFD on the 6H, making the Artemis whiff. No real way to capitalize off of it, though. Uh -oh. But the counter hit close slash is going to hurt. I would be oh. dead if he didn't drop the Kara on the super off of the, the Hammerfall. Oh, maybe better off that it didn't work out because we had the meter to make that Hammerfall say, or even plus. But the guard crush in the top does. No one's blocking those. Oh, Hammerfall right through that TK. Let's it. Uh oh, this is going to hurt, especially on Milia. Boom! That's half your life gone. Uh, don't get grabbed again. Nice smash on wake up from Jeek. Not trying to hold it. Get the wall. Deflect the top dust. Oh my gosh, that hits so <laughs> hard. That rage, man. That does not match that animation at all. Oh, oh air throw on what it this time. That? Pick up Winger, though. Hitting that Garuda attempt. Finally gonna leave Jeek in a favorable position. Oh, back Mega Fist on the jump in. That was Very a very pretty quick game um, that that just goes to show right the validity of this right like um, maybe you don't get to play at all because of Milia's. maybe you don't get to play at all because you have no else that's, and you die that's a potemkin milia matchup right because milia definitely can hit potemkin a thousand times but what does it matter if potemkin hits you twice right it's right. definitely a, a more common archetype of matchup we've seen in recent patches with some characters namely happy chaos but uh, I think uh, I think it's just very very interesting to watch this dynamic play out. Yeah. All right, here we go. Going into the next game. Yeah, both players are ready to lock in. Let's get it going. Six P round start into the Estes. Nice, oh, back, back mega fist. Mega fist. On nice. the blush check, they're trying not to hold that spacing trap. Get that pot buster in here. Can a boy stop cheek from mashing? Yeah. Oh, bursts immediately on oh. the Hammerfall. Wants to win this round here. I said they're on the JH, very clean. So, so. Uh, nice yep. clip on the fuzzy with the double air dash. Okay, yep, not opting for bursting actually. We have the health to play with, right? For Potemkin, health is just another resource. And that's the benefit of playing like a big, like a big body or a slash high health character into Milia. Your health right. is a resource. You definitely can tank a lot more heads against, especially against a character with combos like Milia's, right? Like that combo probably wouldn't have killed if Jeek didn't do like, uh, like Haircar as the wall spot ender. So, a Capel over the White Wild Assault, very interesting. A boy trying to take space with these Hammer Falls. White Wild Assault in, Hammer Fall hits the back dash. Oh, but the oh, just counter in. Oh. Yeah. 
We're gonna see that same side reset. Yeah. yeah. Super hard to get. Them. Very difficult not, reset. Yeah, we're we're actually this. not opting to use um, Wild Assault there to break the wall, right? Which is like something we don't normally see, right? Players have the option between Wild Assault or Super. They normally pick Wild Assault. Because having right, Reader and Neutral is just too useful. Especially as a character of Amelia, right? You get, yeah. the, you get the Wild Assault and then you immediately do TK Bad Moon into the 50-50, right? But in this position, I guess Cheek just didn't value that over the, the knockdown itself. And the burst, which Ooh, we just saw. There's that heat we talked about. Yo, heat tackle it's being a used. The fuzzy going no, <laughs> no fuzzy. Just no fuzzy going into the grab. Okay, okay, oh boy. We're evening up the rounds. We're not going out without a fight. Oh, oh boy. misses the air throw, the capel. Double air, double air dash shake. Back mega fist on the third air dash attempt. Slide head there. Boy, really struggling to. To keep Cheek from mashing on these uh, slide head knockdowns here, right? But gets this hit here. Probably gonna get a Garuda, Garuda Oki. Nice. Oh, no, unfortunately, not the best punish off the with Garuda. But here we My go. Bitch, not this, clipping Cheek's free jump. This is like a one touch scenario right here for Cheek. I think anything nice might do it. Yeah, pretty much. Cheek has nice to play one. really carefully here on back Mega Fist, but gets a close slash. Oh, drops the Artemis, counter hits the back Megafist with the Capel. Yeah, and last situation it's... for both parties. White Wall just all on the table, spent oh, immediately yeah, just air thrown. Oh, Garuda and the tap does. Yeah, Nobody's man. blocking that. Man, everything on the tap does at the end there, right? Unfortunately, like, I think maybe because of Garuda, Jeek just barely didn't have the meter to do super, which might have right. been super unfortunate. Believe that Garuda was plus enough too to true string into it. Yeah. Okay. This is game five. Okay. Game four. Yeah, we're going into the game four here. A boy up two one. Two one. That's what it was. Okay. These bitches are having some fast. They're blending together. Well, Herakard whiff punish here. Nice with the JS leading into the wall break. Yep, spending that wall assault. Yeah, learn from the, the prior mistake here. Just going for that mix up. We got the car card here. Yeah, going, going to right the in. Over here. All right. Doesn't have the meter, but we'll build it off one blow close slash here, which is going to be really interesting. The blush shaker gets oh YRC right into that pop buster. She can crush 100 bar. Never really expected. Yeah. 6k instead of the bad moon. Nice hit. Alright. Here we go. We're starting off with that Garuda pressure again. Definitely scary. Leading it to a Mega Fist combo. So much damage. Especially against a low life character like Milio, right? Yeah. Definitely just uh just something that will happen a lot. Tries to heat tries to heat knuckle Milio out of the sky again. Gets clipped by the JS put into this corner Oki. Okay. Nice, alright, here we go. Spending the wild assault to go back into this Oh had we I think would have been very scary, yeah. That could not lie. I think he tried to try to heaven lead the bad mood. Which I think would have been hilarious. If that will, if that happened, like, that's just gap. Capital G. That's just like your soul got stolen. Just like how this corner gold burst. Such a big position for a boy. The Whoa. back hit of JP. That JP, yeah. I was wondering if you saw that. Nice deflect on the Garuda from G. Just getting getting back to this neutral position. He's shown that he's pretty, he's pretty confident, right? One Potemkin doesn't have 50 bar. Two hammer fall in like that. Nice, we got the Capella in. Nice oh, deflect no. from a boy, but it wasn't enough. Actually caught the setup of like a Roman cancel there. Oh, clips the landing recovery with the pop buster. That's a boy. 3-1 over Jeek. Okay, a boy. That's big dapper. So now, I wonder. So, yeah, a boy stays on. So now Team NC Sweep sends in a counter pick. Now, I, my guess is they're going to just send in Chariot, right? Yeah. Because I we definitely like... don't want to give up more lives than we have. 
I feel like their best bet here is they send in Cheerio, and then they ha and then if Cheerio loses to MJ again, maybe they can send in Larry because I know MJ definitely isn't a big fan of Johnny Faust, so it's definitely very doable. Why is that? Uh, he thinks the matchup sucks, okay. like every matchup for Johnny, in his eyes. Fair enough. Johnny has no like upsides to any matchup. And Johnny sucks. Jotum won. <laughs> Jotum won. What's my name? Uh, like, Joseph, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it would appear we are sending in Cheerio, in fact, into a boy. Okay, yeah, Connor see, that, see, that, just, that just makes sense, but like, I gotta, once again, I gotta give it to a boy that game, actually, I don't know whether to call that gap, or whether to call that amazing play, but nonetheless, it was fun to watch, it was fun to witness, okay? A boy okay. going into the second set here in the series number three of the Aegis Team League. They were up 1-0. Over Team NC Sweep. Going right in here, just trying to hold it down. Hold it down with the Secretary of Defense. Absolute defense. Oh, where's the Potemkin Buster? Gets the 4 6 backdash though. By Wild Assault Oki, Midi Claw Slash connects. Oh, that's Flank instead of Garuda's the Oki choice. It's cut by the Minigun. It's definitely a position you do not want to be in if you're a boy, but backdashes gets Hammerfall RC. Nice blocks from Cherio. Alright, oh, see, Cherio just trying to, like, <laughs> space everything out. Like, just trying to be outside of that, like, nice little range that the Tenkin likes. It's so a hammerfall RC again. Nice club on the jump this time. Cherio wasn't prepared for it. Fucking multiple of these Gerudos. This chip damage is adding up, right? Yeah. Goldo was definitely getting a taste of his own medicine right here. All the Nice JD over this time. Tries to go for a cross up. Blocked by a boy and anti air white wild assault. Midi Garuda pressure here. Tries to backdash but gets clipped. Yep. That's the OTG gonna be the... Hammerfall actually is enough to kill. Dash up 2k TD from Jerry on this run so he's just setting himself up into this good position. I believe that was a Hammerfall attempt from a boy trying to armor the next attack, I believe. Nice. Alright, here we go. Back into the Potemkin, like this is this is a domain expansion, right? When you got scared, you're full screen. I'm just farming some meter for free. Nice, nice worth punish, but again, doesn't get a combo because Potemkin just likes the, the combo tools here. Gets a nice RC on the hammerfall. Tries to call it a fuzzy jump off the close slash. Nice reaction jump from Cheerio this time. Back just is close slash, but gets caught by the BRC follow-up. It's barely not enough, but catches the star level of Super PRC there. Cherio actually even in a round has burst coins. Definitely, definitely very close here. Oh, tries to mash on the Gruda. Doesn't get the 2D though. We're all just all in. Just gets another 5H block. Whiffs the 6A4, unfortunately. These whiff punishes from a boy have been really clean. It's just he doesn't yeah, get a lot off of them, right? Eighty two six eight. Now why is he off? Get off me. Bursting there immediately. Oh, gets hit out of back mega fist. This is gonna do a lot of damage, but but, but a boy's gonna be alive here. That's burst. Oh boy, he's barely going to live, but we do have burst on deck. Might need to use it here early, but actually gets the back dash there on time. That's anti air white wild assault sets up the Oki. The triple onto the white wall so again Potemkin Buster it. builds the meter. Wow, that's gambled so everything crazy. On Potemkin Buster right there. That was so risky. I didn't think that it was actually... gonna build the bar in time. I yeah, that that just barely built the bar. I just saw the replay right here on the stream. That just maybe fifty point five percent. That's almost tension. Very, very close. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But even if like he didn't get the tension, like it was just a return to neutral situation. Cherio definitely had 50 tension there, so it could have like been turned around just very scary, but glad a boy got the win. We're up right. 1 0. Oh. With 2k, go right into this. this is 6 8 4 anyway. Guess this double Garuda Oki here. Jumps over the third one here. Nice from Cherio. Throws the deflect shield. 
Goes right into this 268 OK. Not trying to waste any time. Alright, but here we go. Chariot actually. Ooh. Expanding the meter to get the re wall splat there. Going into the white. Wow. So we hard knockdown positive bonus. The back mega fist. We're keep we're getting it started. Twice. Three times. And the flick to block the draw. Yo, a boy is playing so active. And sets so up the wall here. Gonna yeah, get in off of it. Reflector, no pun intended. Oh, he gets up. the Pumpkin Buster. Buster. Go, new head. Let's go. We get the Wild Assault on deck. I wonder if we're gonna use it. Oh, oh, the first oh. 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 was so unfortunate. A boy really wanted that round there. Yeah, definitely. I probably would have pushed it too, right? Like, you're so close to victory. I mean, ooh, that feels terrible. Nice uh, IB on the 2k. Keep him closer for a better RPS situation. That's Potemkin, right? Gets just knocked down with the flick. 5k. Beating that mash out. Oh, the leg Garuda into the PRC. Just going for the safe jab here. Backdash of us. That should be enough to kill. Yeah, with a 5p into the hammer fall. <laughs> Take the break the wall and take the round. A oh boy. We're not going down without a fire. Like, you know, a boy definitely has that fighting spirit in him. Back Mega Fist. Get off of it. Nice JD over from from Cherio. The hammer fall just on the 268 though. Flipping Cherio with the slide head. Run right back to neutral here. Watch the white wall just on the 684. Oh, Throwing the hammer fall. That's gap. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, see, this is the common like uh, Potemkin, like fast RC, like JP, like you know, all Potemkins love. Yeah, for sure. So instant over at the flag faded. No oh, confirmed tokens up with the bad hit on 486, but it doesn't matter. The 624 closing it out for Cheerio. One one. Okay. This is yeah, this, this has been a pretty close one one. It feels like a lot longer. It feels like these matches are going by. Right, even though these characters do have like high health, they both do. Be Here we are going into game number three. Set two. two. Series three. Rage is team lead. Nice 2K on the um, on the pop buster. Bates the gold bears. No confirmed though. Just going back into this neutral situation. Tries to Megafist over the drone. Gets clipped by the JS here. Nice, Very nice. big pickup from Chu. Yeah, it goes for the reset here into the super. This is a 1080, I believe. Uh, 720, but it's just barely not enough to kill. Goes right for 684. Trying to call it a back touch from my boy, right? Because we saw him do that before. Goes right into laser. Potemkin doesn't really have the best means of dealing with this. It's just clipped by the 2k. Yeah, you just gotta block sure. all of this. Maybe if we had some meter, it would have been a little bit different, but he unfortunately we do not. Ooh, this is a big counter hit. We're gonna get some Oki. Okay. Tries to Mega Fist out of the A6 here. Gets clipped. That JD reaching so far on these slide heads. And that Mega Fist too. 6 2 here. Just trying to maintain wow. this offense. Oh, that's up to backdash. Ooh, uh, that's that's a eesh. that's a eesh starter. Okay, hey, yeah, that was, oh, that was that was certainly a gold Lewis game. Yeah, it definitely was. Right, I was talking about how these rounds feel fast, but that game just was fast, right? Like just the gold Lewis damage and the white wild assaults, for sure. Okay, but if look, if we've seen anything from Boy those thus far, whoa, what is that? Is this the Gold Lewis uh -oh. mirror? What? Are we running the mirror? Does a boy oh, wait a minute? Uh, go. I Dude, know this, a boy's this been. Is, uh... This is. It, what? That's you? I, what <laughs> yeah, I know a boy's been been training that uh that Gold Lewis, but uh to see it this soon is surprising. All right, this I'm surprised, you know, because you know, uh, as far as I know, I don't believe that a boy uh, whipped out the gold. TNS, like he said, he was going to. No, he he did not pick Gold Lewis at TNS line. All right, well, you know, let's give a boy, let's give a boy his flowers, right? Because it's already looking 
pretty good, pretty even. Okay, nice. Nah, reads yeah, the, the, the from JD, Jerry, yeah. yeah. Just holding down this corner here. Oh, oh super PRC. Super PRC. Sets up the drone, Oki. Okay. Oh, misses a throw. It's going for this 2 6 a. Uh oh. I don't think we have our Karas down. Uh, I don't. I, you, no. Oh, JD over the drone. Sorry for that 2k after. Same from Jerio, but uh -oh. this time with a fuzzy to back it. Oh, the five to confirm. But the wood punish. A oh boy bursting! Hold on, he wants this! <laughs> We're just gonna keep shooting, uh, keep shooting! A oh boy, you're not on Happy Chaos! Oh no! Wrong gun! <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is some kind of tactic. This is a mental game. So has to be like I'm gonna mental psych you out this next time. This is what I think this is. But Vinny, we need to have a talk. What, what, <laughs> happened? To, what happened? We need, to, we need to have a discussion. <laughs> we need to have a discussion. <laughs> we need to have a discussion. It's crazy. Sometimes you don't want to play in A2? Enough. Uh, enough, man. <laughs> no, but you know what? We gotta, I gotta give it to less. Like, even if they swap to... Even if they swap to Gold Lewis there at the very end, Tempkin has been putting in crazy work this entire... This entire... Uh, Soul run, yeah. This Carry on getting is... getting knocked out here. Wouldn't be surprised if they send in MJ, the Johnny man here. Yeah, it looks like they out. might say yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Because you know, MJ beat Cherry last Let's see if we could do it again. Right. And and I MJ a... is definitely very like nimble and very quick. I got a I got another monitor open with a tab that's just names that start with J. So this will this will be fun. Uh, uh, someday we'll we'll finally like we'll know what's his name. You know, we're we're gonna to eventually get his name right. You know yeah. there have to be like there's only enough names that start with J. Probably, but all right. It does look like we have MJ versus Jerio, the run back actually here. We go. I'm I'm excited, right? So like I think uh, Cherio definitely to back and adapt and especially think about like stuff post game especially if you know they're gonna run it definitely I wonder what, right? I wonder what kind of adaptations cherry is i'm hoping that we see uh we see a bit more bit more aggression from cheerio here this, uh, which will be interesting nice 6p on that 5k going right into this offense trying to call it mj for these back dashes why oh. waddles on the card yo is this cheerio or red eye oh hold on yeah we are we are running up we're pulling in! Nice block on the double overhead, right? It's definitely very easy to get hit by that. We got that backdash into that close slash here. Into this card set. Super hitting the TK Asmus Finder. Nice. Turn right for the 5k immediately. 2k clipping a backdash. Alright. Going into the next round. Here you go. starts off with the grab. Trouble the throw going right for that 268 gets backdash but fails to backdash it properly. 268 here again, these backdashes from MJ have been really his downfield, right? He's definitely just been backdashing a lot on gold list pressure, which is good, but at the same time, you can't over represent it. So that that is so funny. Years. I I just gotta say, you 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 said the name. And just like you summoning the boogeyman, Red Eye and I just appeared in chat. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> 2K didn't clip backdash, you just said words. It clipped the backdash attempt, man. That was a true string with a low. Or maybe they just didn't block low, you know? Could be. Yeah, uh, you know, you know. Maybe. A lot of things could have happened. But point is, here we go. Chariot taking game number one over MJ. Definitely already showing. Like, it's going to be different this time. Chariot's definitely playing way. Where like I felt like we both said that Cherry was passive and giving MJ room to breathe, and it made it much harder. For sure, yeah. No birthday train. Put on birthday train. No, Johnny's no, player. Not. Johnny is never gonna not put on. I'm MJ, please. I beg of you, do not put on birthday train. All right, we got original about. I'm starting to think. Trying to go over the white wall to solve with it, but just gets an anti air instead. Oh, empty vault again from MJ. 
saw that a lot in the first set, right? With all these empty vaults just going unchecked. It was like yeah. a 50 50 on if Cheerio was able to check it or not. So I wonder if Cheerio was just going to I think more often than not, Cheerio wasn't able to, right? Because there's a lot of things you're looking for. Like, you're looking for the hit stun of the actual card. Yeah, for sure. Alright, but here we go. We got the minigun. This will be a hard knockdown into the white wild assault. Nice blocks. 6P gets blocked. MJ autopiloting into the card throw, getting him killed here. A big burst of time here. Nice, we're just we're using we're using Johnny's like look at this dash speed. Imagine this, but you could dash block like Geo. No, 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 no. Uh oh, we got this. He's air block BTs just... building extra risk, but MJ yeah. double jumping out. Yeah, see, I feel like that's like a like layer one knowledge. Not even layer. It's like definitely a not like against Gold Lewis, right? Knowing if you get your air options after air guard crush. Johnny yeah. already obviously knows that, so got out of that situation and actually won town. Nice. Oh, what the shimmy. You caught that gap. That's the skill difference. We got the gold burst here from Cheerio. Not out of it yet. Gonna build this 50 bar for a potential reversal super. Or a YRC. I actually, yeah, just walked out of the reversal super range. Oh, and Mr. Bates. Oh, oh Cheerio did have the need. Make a save. Curious if we're gonna see some some dash up and sengas from MJ, right? Because we've seen oh, Jerry the mental stack of going times. high. Is that going again? Do it again! Do it again! Like three oh. times! Oh, it jumps out! It's <laughs> such AD into the knockdown. You know, some say that's luck, some say that's reaction, but I say that's gap. Into I'm into a white wild assault, right? It drains a little bit of that like that burn. All we need is one touch. This might kill before you even get the feeder. Uh, that one up secret definitely is just gonna kill off of the 6A4 RC. Very big damage here. Nice. D d there's that delay again, right? So, like, I think Cherry was opting just some fuzzy jump more often than now. More often than now. Yeah, I believe so. Definitely just a safer option than throw attack, especially against Johnny, right? Oh, and they really does not want to block mm. that drone. That's gonna be to his detriment. Gets the wake up, that's my name. What's his name? Uh in the wheel. What's the name? Jacob. Alright, Jacob. Nice. Oh, French up with the S must find it. Getting the hard knockdown again. 2D, Sharna call out Cherry for fuzzy blocking. So really good blocks on these stash up and some overheads. Uh oh. This is gonna lead to a really nasty setup. I don't think it's gonna kill it. Nope, it won't. But for the drone, just trying to hold hold MJ in this corner position. That's an air deal to try to throw off an anti air attempt. Bates the YRC. This should be enough to kill. Oh no, but the, oh, he drops. Oh, actually whipped. <gasps> oh, run under jab. Yeah. yeah, that was that was definitely the right choice. Like, you know, that's gap. That's gap. Just ran that, that, into the face of danger and just punched the air. That dash speed was like you were saying, just very fast, right? Yeah, like it's right surprisingly good at what it what it wants to do. I wouldn't say surprisingly good, but it definitely it's not as bad as some say. I feel. Yeah, not not as bad as a, as a select few. Select few. I can't oh, it, off the top of my head remember who would say that. These things. You know, I think uh, I think it's like. Uh, Who's uh who's the one guy in like the the nineties had big hit song thriller? I, I think it was know. Michael Jackson. Maybe he said that a Johnny Dash song. Maybe it was mm. Prince. Maybe it might have been Prince. We got that Insega trying to go over the White Wall assault, but White Wall assault after the Insega instead. Act that's just six the two six eight. Going right in for the close slash stagger offense here. Nice White Wall assault. It's gonna go no into cards it. needed. JD over that far slash. Alt 2D trying to clip Jerry for blocking high. Alt RC, so stuff into this makes up. Nice YRC. Hitting the back dash with the 604. Nice. Yeah, the yeah, we're ready nice check on the vault. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my, oh my, oh oh my. Am I watching Bridget? I thought this was Bridget for a second. What's my name? Nice Probably bro. Bridget. That's <laughs> nice card set up. We have a hundred meter. We're gonna keep gambling. 
Oh, trying to get greedy with a crazy third reset, but gets thrown out of it from Cheerio. That was kind of crazy, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, no, that was, that was kind of crackhead, so... Nice, we're keeping you in the corner. Nice, good job mashing up. We got the knockdown too, and the card set up. But this is a big starter. We got a break. Your life is ID over with the block stun from the card. Very big. Jay gold is a good job at like, at like keeping gold was like at bay from a range, right? Especially after like some drone, like after drone setup. Yeah, for sure. Has to, like, commit to... Definitely a solid tool against Goldbliss. Not gonna build the meter in time for the super. We do have going meter right back now. Oh, uh, well, why not just let him block? Watch the super eight gets thrown after. What's his name? All right. Hold on. on the wheel. What's the name? Jamie. Jamie. That's a good one. That's Jamie. Word. That's Jamie. Actually, bet everything on the reversal super. The round start in single. Bar slash counter hit into the 6A4. Leads into a solid knockdown. Same situation again. You gotta block. Gotta hold all of this pressure here. 6A4 on block. Air block. So plus. Misses the knockdown with the SMS Finder. Yeah, so Cario is trying to jump out of this like, card range, right? But it's like, it's hard to. Especially with the character like well, who has quote unquote low mobility. They go low. Yeah, of course. 6 k is right into the drone. Giving Cherry all this OP. I guess it's away from that 6 8 though. Dash up and for the throw here. It's just a card. One for the dash pressure resets here. Very greedy for them, Cherry, but definitely warranted. Yeah, we're just. Look at all this pressure we just got started. It's very scary to try and press against this. Cherry definitely does not want to. Like, like I mentioned earlier, Cherry was definitely okay with just for a long while. Wow, it dashes up! Into the mini gun, burst immediately. Trying not to deal with it. Uh, there's an instant overhead right into the Choka trick. Yeah, Johnny unfortunately has pretty low damage, especially when we started like that. But we do have the positive bonus into that. With yeah. JS into the throw. I'll teach you about the Mr. Finder. Yes. Okay. Gonna be John, MJ. Up to John. Jermaine. Jamie. What are the names uh, we got? Joshua. Joshua. Joseph. Yeah, Jesse. Joseph. <laughs> ja Rule, <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, yeah, these are these are all good names. I'm loving this. This is a good set. This is a fun set to watch, honestly. I think, like, from a spectator standpoint, I think Johnny, uh, Johnny Gold was is that it was fun. I think Johnny is just a spectator. Yeah, you know, Johnny's like, just like the spectator character right now. I right? still very I, very fun character to watch. All right, here we go. Going to the next game immediately, starting off with a far slash clipping the wild assault attempt. So you're gonna get this wall break guaranteed. No use on the wild assault here. Just going right back to this neutral. I'm just been pretty confident of playing it, right? Especially with all these deals into uh, into the misfinder. Nice yeah, check yeah. on the vault. No confirmed though. Anti air with the six k. Run right into the Soki. It definitely helps that six k like kind of stops himself in front of the opponent. So like, it, it, I think it seems pretty useful catching JD attempts. Yeah, but going right into the what's my name? Julian. <laughs> oh, this is a Miss Finder. Gets six speed. Going right for this pickup with the BRC slaughter. Very good awareness from Cheerio. I think. Yeah, that looked like a whiff. That looked like a missed input on the Miss Finder at the very end there. For sure. Oh, backdash doesn't get clipped by the far slash though. And then jump gets hit by oh, the 2P. No. White Wild just, all, just trying to maintain this momentum. Going all in on it. No, how unfortunate is that? The deal, like, the, the it just didn't go the right way. Or well, not the deal, but like, what do we call that effect? Where uh, <laughs> you miss yeah. another card. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, the one. I don't even know what we're supposed, I don't, what we're supposed I don't, to call it, man. No, but the point is, it didn't go the right way, it didn't clip Cherry, or actually steered everything, like everything went wrong from that moment. Oh, backdash is the 6 inch, so that's huge. So it's up for these overheads. A6 2. Uh, oh, nah, MJ backdash. Yeah. Right there with that JS. 
Oh, oh trying to go for that gritty throw attempt again. Chira is just representing, he's on it. He may get hit by these overheads, but not by that throw. And this so barely kill, doesn't kill, but a big position. leading into a bad situation. Oh, Farsash trading. <gasps> Farsash on the 2D, going into game 5, Cherry over Sumter. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't know, you know, Marvel, we were... there's, this, there's this one person. <laughs> right, there's this one person who keeps downplaying Johnny. Look, they have man, a, we they have a we they have tell. a similar they have a similar name to some to some. Like, I I couldn't remember. You know, is it J M? What's the name? Couldn't tell you who's the down player. There's one Johnny down player. Couldn't tell you who it is. Michael Jordan. Thank you, Turtle. Michael Yo, Jordan. thank you, Turtle, Michael for Michael Jordan. Jordan. I can't, I can't believe Michael Jordan has been downplaying yes, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, this is Space Jam. Right? <laughs> 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 Michael B. Jordan is crazy. Dual one. Turtle, stop. <laughs> Oh, Johnny going to or MJ going to this blue color here. Wait a minute, I didn't realize. Is this is this, this is just Johnny. lean? I hear. Yeah, it's just lean. Okay. Or is it just lean copy boss. Yeah, we're, we're I don't locking have... in. That two six eight. I'm Cheerio. I'll oh, probably messed up a dash from. Yeah, I'm super jump, double jump, <laughs> Gerald. I see. I'm, I'm, I'm loving. I'm loving this right here. I'm loving the. This is this is some good stuff right here. Nice block on the low. A nice IBFD, but we're keeping it. Nice as, as we have. Here. Oh, right, nice check on the vault from Jerry. Yeah, we're, just, to make we're sure not. Just, we're not letting yeah. Gerald, Jermaine, Johnnyson get away with these vaults for free. All right, Jerry, I'll take it the round very convincingly. Actually, your your vault tricks are. Oh, there it is. The reversal 64. Oh, and the oh, white going for the right wall so through the misfinder. We don't have burst on deck. We do have 50 tension. Any hit will lead into a high low. Well, BT high low. So you're reacting for your life here. Going for that ball. Uncheck this time. Going right for that knockdown. 6 HP. Jerry, oh, having the 100 bar on deck though. Definitely a scout position. Cross on here. Can MJ get away in time with a, with a step back? Oh right my deck? god! Oh, white model slots to 6k. No, oh, but the J is the J J as it should be enough. It's kind of cheap. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. You know what? That was a solid game five. Dang. So okay, Jermaine. Okay, chat. MJ. I see. You. Right. I see you. That was that All was right, a Michael fun Michael Jackson. Spot. Michael Jackson. Unfortunately, M or Chario will. Is this game five or is this? This is that was oh, game five. Is, uh... yeah, that was that was game five. Yeah. So like. Yeah, that was dang. game five set. So NC is up two one on New Heights yeah, right NC, now. Yeah, <laughs> NC only has to win one more set to take this whole thing. And to come I back. believe they're sending in Kermit too. Yeah, this is, but good, you know what? Good, good job, good job on MJ, right? Like definitely, even though it was it, like MJ did lose this time, it was not free. It was very close. It was like one mistake from, or maybe just one right decision for actually turning that around. So I gotta give it to MJ. You urge your flop. You definitely played that really well. But we're going into Kermit versus Cheerio. This has been a been a bit worse of a matchup for Biking in recent times. So yeah, I wonder yeah. if Kermit's been been grinding it. Again, from Norcal, definitely has to practice have, with yeah, people like Afo. Afo. Yeah. Yeah. And Afo and Cherio actually play pretty similar. Don't really play yeah, White Wild sure. or So I wonder, like, how, 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 uh, what would it? Dual one. Let's rock. Nice shot back, dashing the, like, nice the Wild Assault. the Blue Wild Assault. It's cut by that far slash, though. Holding Cherio in this corner. Nice 6B on the jump in. Run straight for the drone. Yeah, something I'm noticing a lot though is like, although the neutral is pretty good on Kermit's side, Kermit does love JSing a lot. Sure, you know if Cherry was gonna. 
for sure. Oh, he misses the standing 6 8 4 gets the jump one instead. Yeah, Crosses up, block. gets the corner for Spaghetti. Pretty big position for sure, yeah. So it's up into the drone here, yeah. Oh, clips the landing recovery right there. Very big. All right, going into the next round. Here we go. Nice with the JD attempt, clipping the Kabari. Oh, Forest Six hitting the parry. Yeah, the classic, right? And that's one of his best orders too. Nice straight E over that far slash. Not trying to deal with it. All right, gets for your life. Unfortunately, you get oh, that wrong. Killed? And... Yeah, that actually did so much damage. And like clockwork, more gold Lewis players just keep popping up here. Definitely, uh, definitely a big day for Gold Lewis fans nationwide. Mm -hmm. I believe we're getting word that uh, that Nine Moons beat Forfeit. Actually, it was a clean sweep from Rat on the. Oh group. my God! Yeah, look at that on the other side. Yeah, like Rat clean sweep Forfeit with three two three two three one. Okay, Rat. That might be the goat. Okay, Rathew. That might be Jordan. <laughs> Rathew. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the nice six B on the round so far, slash here. Trade on that five. Very big damage. Good first point from Kanye. All right, using the super to get the hard knockdown here with the wall, right? It won't kill, but it does gain like positive bonus. So burst and tension will be ga like, gained back. Definitely worth watching. Right? Nice cashing out here, but oh, unfortunately doesn't get the kill because Cherio did burst out here. Oh, that's a really big lock. burst. Oh, it's 6 2 with the BRC slowdown. F this corner position as well, definitely able to kill. Dang! So, yeah. What? Oh my god, I'm so okay, that killed on. That surprised me. Yeah, no, that killing was actually kind of crazy. That was really optimized routing from Cheerio. We got this position from Kermit. Back there, incident. Level 3 drone rookie. Good wire C on the drone from Kermit. Nice. You're jumping out the corner. Actually, actually, yeah, keeping yourself safe there with the Yuzansen. Going for that cross up. Nice frame trap with the Tatami. Blue Wild Assault. Right into that Escobar, just going right in for these Escobar mix ups. Nice 6 8 4 after blocking the Tatami. Oh, Bates, the parry. This actually might kill. him so much damage. He's so dead, man. He's so dead. That did so much damage. Oh my god, see, like that, that's like the classic, right? 4 8 6. Bait the parry and just, you're just dead. Especially if you have any amount of wrist build. And Biken, although she does, you know, although she is Japanese and does have Japanese guts, she's not that healthy. You know, she's definitely very more on the squishier side. Of it. How much do uh, do Japanese guts really help you if the combo was four hits? Right. Like, and you have like any amount of risk against Gold Lewis. You know, one of the one of the highest like out like. Damage I'm putting characters in the game. Yeah. All right, going into this next one, let's go. Dual one. Looks like Cherio is locked in. I, honestly, I, when you when you told Cherio to go lock in, bro, locked in. Shit, I guess so. Now six eight four on the tatami again. Kermit not really, not really feeling confident challenging versus it, right? A six two. 268 maybe. Just going right in for these Tigers, trying to hit a parry attempt, right? Uh, this is scary. Oh, he's just using the wild oh assault. Oh my god. god. Yeah, this is very scary, right? Like, Cherio can afford to be like, playing very aggressive with 2P catching the JS. This is this is tournament point for Cherio. This and is. Going right. into finals. Cherio only has to win this game right here, right? Like, like I said, this, this is round. Tournament point. They go to finals to face off against nine minutes. Oh, good the flex shield on the fire six uh, actually from Kermit. Oh, goes for a BRC. It's the nice. uh, eight six two. 
Wait. This, this is enough? No. It's unfortunately not going to be enough to kill, but backdash with the blue wild assault. Playing some scary neutral here. Both care. Oh my god. Both. All right. It's a combo. We have burst on deck. We go for the empty throw. No. Cherio goes for the reversal throw and takes the game. Cherio 3 0 over Kermit here to take the entire tournament. NC, North Carolina, more like notoriously carry. Thank you, Vinny. I stole that one. <laughs> what? Yeah, I believe uh, next week we're going to see we're gonna see an NC versus Nine Moons at 8.15 uh, 8 p.m. Yep. on AJS Esports 3. If you guys did like what you saw, be sure to tap into next week, right? Because like North Carolina, like, 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 you know, like, we're gonna see North Carolina fight off against some pretty good players next week, like Rat, Marvello, Tessier Luck, right? Mm hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm not like I'm very curious to see who they're going to be playing, like, like what the lineups will be, right? As we know, both, uh, both teams do get a chance to counter pick each other with series one and two, potential series three. If it's just like this, uh, like, if you guys like this, you guys like these close sets, like these exciting matches, be sure, next Wednesday, same time, tap in for Nine Moons versus North Carolina. But I think yeah, for today, we're, uh, we're about ready to close up out of here. Thank you guys all for coming through. I really appreciate it. You know, you can find me at, a uh, well, you can find me on Tower and on uh, maybe some other streams pretty soon. But if you want my Twitter handle, it's at the underscore Gumster. That is G-U-M-S-T-E-R. And my, and the shout outs to Luke right here as well, right? Definitely coming through. Love working. Love working with that. Luke, you got anything yeah, you want to plug in? Uh, follow me on Twitter at SquidgeLukeSFL. Uh, look out for me in your next net play weekly, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I will top it. Trust, I won't get nine. That is gap. Um. But yeah, that's about that's about all I got to plug. Yep. I've do. been I've been gummy. This has been Luke. This has been the Aegis Team League Battle. We'll see you next week for the finals. Peace out, y'all.